Hi, so this is a technique that is very commonly used in every shooter game till date, with the exception of very few, the bullet inaccuracy. Bullet inaccuracy is a property in any gun in both real life and in video games. Basically bullets don't hit where you aim, it hits a bit around where you aim. This is true even in real life. Bullets sway away from where you aim sometimes and the same is replicated in video games in the form of bullet inaccuracy. This is present in Valorant and you can see the values of inaccuracy used in the buy menu. I performed some simple tests to see if bullet inaccuracy has a huge impact, at least the headshot portion. And results, yeah it does and Guardian is the best gun in the game in this case. Using the Vandal I hit 10 shots in the range in multiple distances and here's the results. In 30 meter range almost no bullet had missed and all 10 landed over and over. In 50 meter range though half of my shots never landed. That's every 5 bullets that didn't land out of 10 and that is quite significant. For a 40 meter range 8 out of 10 shots had landed. And that's not bad and the pattern was also recorded. So around 40 meter onwards the fights that you take could be affected by inaccuracy. You might be spraying on an opponent and that one bullet that should have hit the body and get you the kill could have missed cause of inaccuracy on top of RNG spray that exists in Valorant. That is quite annoying if it happens so. Here's the same test with the Phantom. At 50 meters, 7 out of 10 shots landed with a very tight pattern and that's quite a big improvement already over the Vandal. At 30 meters, no shots had missed but at 40 meters, 8 out of 10 shots had landed. Again 2 shots had missed, the same as the Vandal. RNG could have played an effect here and I tried it again but I got the same results. Looks like more the inaccuracy value more the meter distance before a noticeable effect can be observed. Ghost has a value of 0.3 which is 0.05 more than the Vandal and 0.1 more than the Phantom and here's the difference. At 50 meters 4 out of 10 shots had landed, 40 meters 5 out of 10 shots had landed and 30 meters 6 out of 10 shots had landed on average. That's quite expected since they are pistols. The Frenzy and Classic are the worst pistols with the higher values of 0.45 and 0.4 respectively. The Spectre has a spread of 0.4, that's that's bigger than the Ghost and Sheriff, that is quite odd. And its value is actually equal to the Classic. Here are the results for the Spectre and the same results can be said for the Classic as well because Classic and Spectre have both 0.4 spread, but yeah that's quite huge. The ADS for Spectre makes the spread 2.25 which is equal to the Vandal without fire. So if you're long range, nah, Spectre is not going to do anything for you. If you ADS with Spectre, it's going to be like the Vandal which already misses a lot. So at 30 meters, most rifles and Ghost as well as the Sheriff by the way are reliable. The Sheriff has a value of 0.25 which is the exact same value as the Vandal. So it's the best pistol in the game if you take inaccuracy as the factor of judging. Beyond that specific distance, they start to struggle. LMGs are of course the worst with 0.8 spread. So just forget if you're firing with LMGs, always ADS with LMGs. That tells it. Hip firing with rifles or any gun for that matter, except the Guardian, long range is bad. Always go for the ADS. Guardian having a value of 0.1 is extremely good. If you're fighting with a pistol, if you have a sheriff, it's like fighting with a rifle, it's not like fighting with some normal pistol. With ghost, it's a bit more difficult and just completely forget trying to headshot people with other pistols like classic and other guns as they won't land at all. This is why in some cases, especially cases above 50 meter range, even though your aim is at the head, the bullet might still not land. Phantom comparatively does a better job than the Vandal, especially at longer range. If you're hip firing and trying to land your shots that is. And I recorded some ADS results as well and it's quite a huge improvement. Always ADS and here's why. On ADSing, Vandal has a value of 0.15 spread and Phantom of 0.11 which is quite close to the Guardian's 0.1 value. This is quite significant and reduces bullet uh, spread by a lot. Both the guns did not miss at all in 50 meter range when ADSing. No missed shots, that, that's quite huge. Both the rifles started missing at 40 meters onwards with hip fire but with ADS they remained consistent. Phantom will always perform better in hitting targets at long range compared to the Vandal if you're hit firing. Although the Vandal is a one hit kill, so if you want to equalize that issue, ADSing is the only way. 
the inaccuracy doesn't have big impact close range uh, mostly under 30 meter fights the, the, it's like almost unaffected for rifles at least for pistols it's a different case it's only long range where you see the most impact so if your shots miss when you're under 30 meters with a rifle uh, it's either hit reg or rng spray or something else above 40 meters if you miss you are, you can blame inaccuracy for that fact Anyway, I was just addressing bullet inaccuracy in Valorant and sometimes why you might miss a shot if it's a long range shot. If you're taking fights greater than 40 meters with rifles, don't forget to ADS if you're trying to hit the head especially. If you don't, your shot might just miss and you might have lost a crucial steamrolling round. That would be very annoying. That's all for now. See you all next time.